friend, welcome back to another video with your man Jen the Man. And today we're gonna talk about this local film called Imaginor. You know, once in a while there's this one or two local films that I'm actually interested to go and watch. So when I saw this poster and also the trailer, it, it got me the hype thinking that this could be good. Even my colleague also recommended me to go and watch. So yeah, it gives me enough reasons for me to go and watch it in the cinema. So let's talk about Imaginor. Imaginor is directed by Nick Amir Mustafa. I haven't seen his previous films before and it's my first time so I'm coming in fairly new. It stars Beto Kushairi as Zuhal and then you have Diana Danel as Noor. So this movie focuses mainly on these two characters. The story is basically Zuhal wanting to be hypnotized but in doing so it results in his memories all being mixed up. He met a girl named Noor and both of them get along really well uh, but with his memories being all mixed up, he is trying to piece everything together and trying to remember Noor before it's too late. So if I say anything else, I think it will consider as a spoiler so I'll leave it as just that. So how is this movie? Well, throughout the film, I was actually confused and really lost. And when it comes to the end, I thought they would explain and you know give a good payoff but it didn't really do that and actually there's a lot of questions left unanswered. There are some scenes that I really love though, especially with the sister played by Nadia Nisa, you have Aflin Shauke as the hypnotist, even with the father as well, like it's actually quite well made. I like the cinematography and even the script it has a good premise and I think it's executed fairly well. I would assume that it actually takes a lot of work to piece it all together and actually making it work and I think the direction is quite good too. The script is not cheesy and it's actually quite funny as well but I think the problems outweigh the positives for me. I understand that they want you to feel like you're in Zuhao's head, you know, being really confused and lost and I think the movie really nailed it on that. But I feel that there are some scenes that are unnecessary though. Some of the plots go by too quickly or left unanswered and I think the ending was the part where I feel that they could have given us a little bit more but it ended quite soon. Even with the really emotional scenes in between, I didn't feel it because I was still trying to piece the movie together but I do hear people crying so I guess it does the job. Overall, I think this movie is okay but for a local film, it's a good addition to the you know, indie style romance drama that we Malaysians are known for. If you're having a lot on your mind and you just want a carefree movie, then I don't think you should go and watch this movie because I think it will make it worse. But if you have the patience and an open mind, then yeah, I would recommend you to go and give this movie a try. So have you guys seen Imagino? What do you guys think of this movie? Let me know in the comment section below. Do leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.